Hello everyone, it's Boring Anna Who here. Welcome to episode 3 of Let's Play Rabbits Alive and Kicking. In the last episode, we checked up all the levels there is of oh, Ingress in the Hall. There's none in the game with levels, Hank is only 3 though. So we're going to be doing the next mini game, which is 7 Wash Day. And no, it's got nothing to do with 7 1 from Splatoon 2. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, the whole town is flooded, and we gotta swim away back to the top and turn the water off. So yeah, so you know, just swim like you do. You, you control yourself by tilting your body left and right, which is very imprecise. I see I'm missing these collectibles left and center. Not very accurate at all. And you can leap forward to dive and straight up back again to jump, which sucks because I mean, tons of time I'm just normally swimming and I just keep jumping for no reason. Right there, I didn't mean to take a jump there, but I did it anyway. So here's a case where you do want to jump. There you go, that's what's supposed to happen. Yeah, at the start I got this easily, but further down the world, just for things are gonna. Yeah, see there, I'm just constantly jumping all the time. No reason. I got no control over that. I'm not doing anything, yet I'm still jumping anyway. And yeah, you get extra 50 points and manage to bounce on the obstacles that are crashing into it. So far I'm doing well. Before you did, I did it too late. So that sucked. Missed it. Oh well, I'm the end level now. Hey look, an actually human being in a salmon suit. <laughs> yeah. I really don't like that the humans look super realistic in this game. I I know, this is supposed to be where it's take over reality, but Well, yeah, I don't like how humans were introduced in the web series. I mean, for the first three games, they weren't, they didn't exist at all. But no. In the second West game, they were generally photo realistic, because, you know, it was. Videos take up the real world. In Let's Go Home, now, really simplified cartoons. They literally have black dots for eyes in Let's Go Home. In Trial in Time, there are more detail, it's still cartoony, but here in Life and Kicking, they're super real realistic, and that's honestly it's very uncanny. And I don't like it. Anyways, here's a second level of 7 1. Already I'm getting ready to jump. And there we go. And I jumped too early. God damn it, connect. So yeah, as you can see here, I'm going to just constantly jump me like a lunatic because Kinect thinks I'm jumping when in reality I'm not. And so on the day I just didn't jump at all. And there too. Just expected to jump, but of course I did not. Didn't jump at the right time. Jumps for no reason. There you go. Didn't jump on the white time again. Jump on the goddamn lunatic. And, oh wow, that's the end level already? That was quick. Anyways, we got one more level sound wash day to do, and we should be on to more mini games. Hey, only one star. Well, I can't how the connect things on jumping all the time, which we anyway, are not. And so, uh, once again, there's some pure outside again. Now, rockers can do anything. Can't help with that at all. Still want to find level seven wash day. 
which of course is the hardest, which means I'm going to screw up the most amount of times, because this is where the Kinect just cannot we... we the Kinect is not very good with quick movements either, so that's where it kind of screws up too. Let me just jump here. There you go, that's perfect. No. Nope. Let's jump and uh, screw it up. Okay. Of course, I jumped too early. I hit those things twice. And I jumped where I didn't mean to jump. See, that's the problem with the full body motion controls. I have no control over this whatsoever. You know, if I was. You know, if I had an actual controller in my hand, it should. To be damn sure I'll be doing much better here, but since I have to use my full body to control this. Yeah, this is just terrible. I'm screwing up every single jump. Because of these terrible motion controls. Again! Again, like I said, even the Wii motion controls in the past five games worked well. So. Yeah, I think the wish controls only work when it's just held in one remote. I think that works fine. Heck, child controls work fine in games like Splatoon, but... Personally, I think full body wish controls is where they kind of start. So this is why people hate wish controls, because of connect and full body wish controls. It just sucks. No one likes these. Yeah, in the end, I decided to not ignore all the bonus tokens because that's not worth it. Thanks, see there, just join like crazy. It's not me doing that. I was not joining that at all, and yet I was still joining on that for no reason. It shows you how terrible the connect is at, n at noticing my body. <sighs> anyway, that's sound wash day done. Fourteen hundred points. I always surprised I didn't get one star. Yeah, thought so. Mm, nice try, but you gotta do better. Why well, gonna do better with this terrible character? That doesn't even. <clears throat> Anyways, let's do on to the next game. Life's a beach. Now, is it me or does this look familiar to you? So it's just went to it loads. Just raise my hands to play. And yeah. Does this look familiar to you? Flood as main man as you can. Does this look familiar to you? Because I'm getting some sort of deja vu here. Yeah, as you cannot tell, this is a complete remake of the Couch's minigame from the first Wayman Rabbits game. So yeah, this is where they sort of start recycling minigames from their older titles. So yeah, it's basically the same minigame as the Couch's minigame. What's it? Bodies like to treat couches or something? I don't know. So yeah, it's basically that minigame, but with worse motion controls, because now. You know, I constantly do a pumping motion in order to keep the couches going, and yeah, it's just the worst of version of bunnies like to drink cow juice. Really, it's worse. So I guess this is where they start to win our ideas. It seems. We got another achievement, like in the first game, the stereo. Well, in the first and second games, actually. Hey, put stop where it's in there. Yeah, like I said, unlike with the first first game, doesn't matter if you're using control in the 360 version or losing the Wii, Wii remote in the Wii version, which most you played, I assume. But over those controller methods are much more accurate than just with the Super Connect, and plus, hand constantly pump it up. 
Yeah, I'm starting to get a bit in. Starting to get a bit cornered here. And there we go. So yeah, they're starting to we starting to recycle their old mini games now. So that's not a good sign. Yeah, and just I just barely got two stars, so each. Okay. Let's do on to the next mini game. Which which is whatever this is. Um Hot Dogs in Danger, that's what it's called. Yeah, basically you want to defend the hot dogs from the rabbits as long as you can. And it doesn't tell this immediately for some reason, but you want to shake off the rabbits too, so they're not laying you down and therefore you will have much room to block them. So yeah, try shaking off, you know. I am I'm shaking my downers and none, they're not coming off. So yeah, just so keep the hot dog safe for as long as you can. I'll see the now starting to break in now, unfortunately. Hot dog pile is slowly going down. Hey, at least I defended him for longer than me, at least. And yeah, I'm starting to turn to nothing but a small pile of rabbits. <sighs> Just end the minigame already. No. There you go. Now that you get sucked by a, a flying rabbit subwing with people also in hot dog suits, so... <sighs> so yeah. So yeah, so yeah. Okay. Oh they got three stars. Uh oh well. Let's move on to the next mini game, which is pumped up. Looking for this list here. <laughs> So it's yeah, and <laughs> and yeah, this is basically a posing simulator, really. Just copy the pose you see here. Try to get the most amount white, white in the time limit. Pretty simple. And again, hope the guard that connect can actually detect your body pretty well. Otherwise, you're going to have a terrible time here. Yeah, the pictures here you see here are kind of silly. Okay. Okay, halfway there. Yeah, we're about to show you if you're doing the posing correctly, which... Uh, I don't know. Monkey. Well, well this one isn't doing any, any favours. Uh. Oh, this one's easy. Come on. Really? Come on. Ah, here we go. All right. 
Okay, and that's pumped up. Again, pretty simple pose copying mini game. Nothing much to say, really. Uh, probably even one or two stars. No, two stars. Huh. Great! Okay, let's do on to your next mini game, number 12. Rabbit O Matic. So you go, here we are in a really big washing machine here. No, car washing. Car wash here. Oh, wash you. you know what I mean. And it's kind of similar to another Rabbit's One. Wait, 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 Rabbit's One mini game. When we say trying to lure to as many as possible before it gets slammed by an anvil, we just try to one to it as many hazards as you can until it eventually leaves the car wash. Again you you lure this thing by course till your boy looking white which is never a good sign. And of course you get the red to move forward by by making noise, noise basically, you see by the gauge in the top white. So I guess guessing you do do for it's just it's just sing really. That's the best way for, to keep the way this go. Just sing, and it'll go. Just do this. Oh, and, oh come on! You didn't fall down. So yeah. So unfortunately, he doesn't return. Really Where doesn't return really turn? Well, maybe because you do your whole boy to turn, and that's not we. Really as accurate as losing your bloody thumbstick. But hey, we're at the end now, and you get two thousand points for finishing. Oh, nice car you got there. Not. Uh, and that's it. Just quite look at me being a weirdo. What's this geezer doing? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Apply the terrible. Yeah, only worth one star. He had two stars. Punt. Yeah. Let's do one to the next mini game. Which the next mini game is is not funny. Get it? So not funny. Oh, just this game is puns. Yes, we now move on to the second category where it basically involves you on the screen. So here I am, I got a cold apparently. The rat will try to eat the snot that's hanging off my nose. I and mean, what else do you expect from these rabbits? And again, it's similar to the Rebels 1 minigame where Wayman had to swing a cow, cow away from it as far away as possible. This is sort of the same deal here, except it's got tail motion chores. It's not even attached to my nose anymore, it's just... Go. It's just... Yeah. Again, make noise or sing. Sing to make the way I go on the white timing, which can be pretty hard. Yeah, apparently you can go up to a thousand meters. Personally, I didn't even reach the halfway mark. Hey, that was my best attempt. So yeah, there we go. Wow, that feel. Wow, that last photo had very different lighting. Odd. Not even worth two stars. Yeesh. Okay. Now we should do the last mini game for today, which is called Tenderfoot Dance. It wants me to bend my legs so it can see me, but was. But well, plus, whilst doing that, I accidentally whipped my own pants, so... Yeah. Hand connect for whipping my pants. Real nice. 
Macy here. It's basically just avoid all all the targets that ain't coming towards you. Honestly, these being are no different to playing typical eye toy minigames, so. Yeah, really a fast here. Oh, here we go, the war balloons now. And yeah, let's just keep on with the war balloons and till the minigames are over. So my best tip for boys war balloons is well just keep moving back and forward. That's my best deal. Also you're not gonna dodge all of them, but we'll still be gaining points at least. Yeah, I know a thousand now. Okay. Uh, that's that. What am I doing? Wow, look at that safe facing right through my legs. Hey. Yeah, I was cheating and sitting on top of my pad so that it wouldn't hit my feet. Okay, how well did I do? Probably not that well. Only barely enough for one star. Sheesh! And I thought Vice 2 had it badly with the scoring requirements. But yeah, so that all the videos will show off for this episode.